Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, nice weather out there on this Thursday. Had a little bit of fog, a few low clouds first part of the day, then all that sunshine in the afternoon. Humidity was still ramped up just a little bit, but hey, mid to late September, we'll take it, right? 85 degrees. The official high morning start of 69. No rain drops today, a dry day start to finish. And I think that trend will continue tonight, really much of tomorrow as well. Right now, plenty of stars overhead. It's pleasant, 77 degrees. The humidity eh, running a little bit high, 74%. That dew point that's in the sticky range, the upper 60s and east northeasterly wind between 5 and 10 miles an hour. Radar scan, though, looks wonderful. North, south, west, east. We're talking a clean sweep around the viewing area, and that trend will definitely continue tonight, much of tomorrow. Don't have to worry about any major thunderstorms around the area. The weather pattern across the two-state region is very benign on this Thursday night when we wake up in the morning. Basically, clear skies will greet you. Could be a little bit of fog in some of the valleys close to the river. Just something to keep in mind late tonight, tomorrow morning. Low temperatures will likely be in the middle and upper 60s in the outlying regions to that warmer as it typically is in downtown Louisville around 70 degrees. Your future cast. Let me take you through your Friday hour by hour. We start out with lots of sunshine, maybe a little bit of fog as I mentioned. Clouds will gradually try to form in the so-called heat of the afternoon. Not worried about a bunch of storms though tomorrow. At best, maybe a stray shower, especially as you travel into southern or southwestern Kentucky. Much of the viewing area does look dry and the temperature's pretty nice actually. We'll be back in the middle 80s across the better part of the region, looking at 86 officially on your Friday afternoon in the metro. Nice way to wrap up the work week, right? Kick off the weekend. Talk about kicking off the weekend. How about some college football at Cardinal Stadium tomorrow evening as U of L is taking on UCF? 7:30 kickoff. 83 degrees at the kickoff, a little bit muggy, but it does look dry for the ball game. Drive home around 10:30, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Mainly clear skies, dry conditions, and those temperatures around 78. This is the last full weekend of the summer season. It's going to feel like it. Here's why. High pressure in the upper atmosphere is going to build into the Ohio Valley from the west and southwest. That pushes the main storm tracker jet stream well north. So we're expecting lots of dry time both Saturday and Sunday. Just with that increase in humidity, especially Saturday, there could be an isolated or a stray storm. But again, lots of dry time. 88 your high, that's above average. We're 85 as we go mostly cloudy for Sunday, but Sunday does look basically dry. That changes next week. Boy, the moisture really increases from the Gulf of Mexico. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday night. On top of that, a strong cold front will pass through here Wednesday morning. How fitting. The first day of autumn is next Wednesday, and the cool air is going to be arriving just in time for that first day of the fall season. Wow. All right, here's our forecast now as we work through the overnight clear sky, some patchy fog, 70 year low, really nice weather tomorrow, a little bit warm and humid, 82 lunch hour will turn into 86 for the daytime high. Seven day forecast, we're 88 Saturday, 85 on Sunday. Lots of dry time to get out and enjoy this last weekend of the summer season. Rain chances go up Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday night. The front moves through. Guys, look what happens. Those are high temperatures, 73 and 72 <laughs> for the first couple of days of autumn. At night, we'll be in the 50s and just beyond the seven day at night. <laughs> Next Thursday night, Friday morning, there are signs that we'll be in the 40s. <laughs> These he keeps emphasizing at night. Yes, at night, yeah, not high temperatures. And I have to admit, I'm excited about the change of season. I <laughs> love that tell. type of weather right there. Well, this is getting ready to kick off. <laughs> Rick and I are going to get outside this one then. Exactly. Oh, it's going to be Enjoy. a hot one. Thanks, Jay. You guys.